What is up guys and welcome yet again back to the Valhalla Pokemon League and this time we're gonna look of course week 2 game versus Brawl uh, versus of course a Maiden Dude or Ab and before going into this game it should really be said that these videos when it's going up against another player is gonna be a bit of worse quality uh, mainly because due to the animation of the game it takes actually quite some time to actually you know record, upload, talk about them, narrate so I'm doing a live recording, I'm doing a screen recording, so not as impressive, then again, at least you get the game and my narration. My narration is clear what you want, right? Um, that's it, I I haven't seen this battle, I have no idea what's really going on. Uh, but as you guys can see, we have Meganium, it's beyond a zoom reel, <laughs> and Yama and Hydreigon. I'm really gonna say this, Brawl has you is using Meganium. Like, that's, that's cool and terrifying at the same time, mainly because if you look at their opponent's team, we see Rotom Wash, Blissey, Blissey, and Cortana, Mega Absol, and of course, the Confagricus. So, Meganium, what are you doing there? Is probably my first initial thought. Then again, Brawl has a tendency to be really, really unpredictable. Uh, whether or not it works in favor, it's about, to, of course, we find out, but as you guys can see, Ab's team is pretty darn disgusting and super, super scary towards, of course, this matchup. Uh, and you guys know who follow me that I was facing Ab last week, uh, so I know Ab is a very, very terrifying player. So Brawl really need to get out of his way to, of course, do in this battle well. So really, with all this said, let's see how this game wins. I really like a push play, and like, yeah, let's wait till something happens. So, um, yeah. Right, Ab also has yellow eyes. Those are terrifying, aren't they? I love it. Uh, let's see, Ab's gonna lead up Hydro Drymanic. That is, of course, Rotom. Hydro, I don't know. And he's gonna lead up with Meganium. Alright, cool. So that's a decent lead, at least. Rotom can't really do none, anything else out of Volt Switch. He's actually gonna switch out. Meganium is not faster, as far as I'm aware, but alright. As his Blaziken comes in, as uh, Brawl goes to C move. Huh. Interesting. I wonder, is this a sea sunny day? Let's find out. Let's see. We're gonna get Bloom Doom. Alright, so that's that's not sunny day. Um That's kinda cool actually. It's kinda cool seeing Meganium just go for it. I wonder how much will it do to a place you can. That's a fifty percent hit, that's actually quite decent. Now they are both the same speedster of eighty, but he's gonna switch out. It's very likely that Blaze is going to scar for this matchup. Uh, so Sumeril comes in. As we're going to see. Oh, that's a nice prediction from Ab. As that's going to do heavy amount of damage towards, of course, a Sumeril. And he gets the poison. So that's by theory now of two. Or, I don't know what you call it. Um, two hit KO at this range. So Awkward Jet will, of course, kill the Blaze again. So that's, that was a tough play. Very good play from Ab, really. As Hydrodramatics Dynamics, damn, I can't say that word right, comes in. Uh, it's gonna soak the Aqua Jet, there's really nothing going on there. Um, question is whether he's wanna bolt switch towards this or not. It's a golden opportunity of doing just so. Um, let's see, so Hydreigon comes in. Because I don't think he has a proper switching towards volt switching. As there is the volt switch, nothing really to it. Hmm. It gets a crit, I was wondering why it did so much. I mean, Hydreigon is not the bulkiest Pokemon, but still, that was actually a lot. So Sword Singer comes in, definitely telling me that that's a Scarf set. You wouldn't throw it in if you wasn't necessarily... Oh, it isn't Scarfed! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Why would you know? Oh, dear lord. Or maybe it was. Maybe it was Adamant Scarf, who knows? Damn, wow, that was... That was unfortunate. That was really unfortunate. Wow, what a twist. So anyway, if Surreal comes in here, probably gonna for go for the sack, right? Yeah, there's a Hydro Pump. And that's gonna be a KO. Even if it reduces damage, it's going to be a KO. Hmm. Alright, so at this moment, it looks kind of tough. It definitely looks kind of tough as Meganium comes back in. Now, Meganium does kind of deal with Rotom. It's not the perfect switch in, but it sure as hell can do something. I wonder whether or not he goes for, of course, an earthquake here. So Blissey comes in, and that could definitely be walling. So it seems to be a physical one with earthquake in mind now. And earthquake does. I do believe that's 30%, so that's actually quite decent. 
Now that said, I'm having a hard time seeing McGinnis dealing with this. He could have leached it at best. I wonder. He's going to decide which I'll go to Espeon. And do we're gonna see Stealth Rocks. Oh, the magic bounce. Boom. Excellent play from Raul. Oh, that's, that's tough enough. That's definitely tough enough. And definitely we know, of course, the Mega Apps all in mind. That's definitely a rough play. Oh, damn. That's that's actually kind of cool. I, I hate to say it, but that's actually kind of cool that it pulls on off as Moonchild comes in. Are we going to see a Dazzling Gleam prediction here? I wonder. Substitute. Yeah, that's, that's worse. That's way worse. Oh, the pressure on Ab. There are so many things going on now with Ab. Oh, I wonder how will you get out of this one? Because Dazzling Gleam could very well be a KO. Oh my god. This is this is tense actually, as it goes directly for the knockoff. That's that's a safe play, most certainly. As um we go and see uh, I'm very sure we're gonna see Jaslyn Lean here. And whether or not that's a KO is the question. Oh it is. It is. Oh, Ab is free falling. Ab is free falling. Two of his best switches in the game or offensive switches are now gone as Fireblaze comes in. Um now clearly this has to be Scarfed. I don't see another way he would use this thing like that. As um, Brawl is not gonna risk it, it's gonna switch out and go to Manibus, which is a good play. Manibus clearly is a very defensive Pokemon. As here comes the Flare Blitz, could very well die to recall here. As it does a freaking chunk of damage and survives the recoil. And it survives the recall. Oh my god, this is this is it. This is it. The bird is here. Uh, it goes around the blitz. That's definitely going to KO the Manibus, as of course it's going to fall itself. That's an excellent series of plays from Ab here. Definitely heavy pressure. And poor Manibus. Definitely poor Manibus. But damn, Blaze can really put in some job there, didn't it? That's incredible. As uh, Hydro Dramatics comes in here again, which of course is the road of wash. I'm mispronouncing that every time. And. Let's see the game. Jordan, perfect. Um, I wonder. I'm probably gonna go for oh, go for Pit of Blizzard and just have speed, and that's a KO. Oh dear God, that's that's rough. That's rough. As Power Slayer goes in, that's Confabricus. We knew him from our game, and I wonder. I really, really are wondering what could Ab do now, as uh, Brawl's gonna switch out his Meganium, go to Hydreigon. Hydreigon could very well wrap up this game with Dark Falls, as we see Trick Room. Okay, so the so the games have changed a little bit now. That's um, that could be tough. That could be very tough. All right, let's find out what's happening. So it goes for Calm Mind. Okay, so he's gonna stay and try to take a Dark Falls. That could be a risk. That could be a very very big risk. Um. Then again, I don't know if Confabricus can hit this thing super effectively. Hmm. Alright, that's a 50% hit, um, obviously. So now Ryle really needs to consider whether or not he can survive a hit here. Uh, or try to preserve it. He goes for Hidden Power. Could it be Hidden Power Fighting? Could it very well be Hidden Power Fighting. Is that going to knock out the Hydreigon? Oh, that's tough. That is tough for Ryle. Could this be... Could this be a momentum shift? That's the big question. What does Ral has to soak the hits, incoming hits here? Hiriyama could have knockoff. Uh, it's definitely not slower, so Shadow Ball is going to pull through. And it does not as much as one would hope, as knockoff may actually KO. Oh, it's close. It is close. Hmm. Damn. I wonder. Does Ab have pain splits. No, he does not. He does not. That's unfortunate. As all oh, it's a crit. Ah and it twisted dimension returns to normal, which is unfortunate because Espion does have speed. Clearly Confabricus. Oh it comes down to the wire though. Sasha is gonna KO. I'm trying to remember which is the last mon on Ab's side. This could very well be the last turns of the game. 
this could very well be it. SPO might very well wrap up this game and see the last Pokemon is Blissey. I say that's very likely with Sign Shock in mind that could very well be the wrap up. And all I can say here to the both of them are GG. Brawl played a really, really risky game here and it did pay it off quite a lot actually. I don't think Ad played necessarily bad. Uh, I definitely don't think so. Though missing both losing Cortana and of course the uh, Mega Absol definitely changed a, a whole lot for uh, for of course Ab here. I definitely believe Mega Absol could very well sweep um, almost any time of that game. So it's very unfortunate that this goes down the way it does. I don't think Ab had, had any proper switching more than Conferricus. Which may actually have been worth the second, I guess, actually, Blissey versus Espeon. Getting Conferigus in and losing the sub and then losing Mega Absol yet again. That might have worked. I mean, it's a stretch at best. But I will say this I think Brawl, with of course his sets, actually really, really knocked it out of the park. Offensive Meganium really, really threw um, <laughs> after a loop. And of course, Cortana might actually have been very well scarfed here versus Hydreigon. Hydreigon was also scarfed clearly. Could have been a timid set, while of course Abs was adamant. I do believe that's a factor here. But with that said, that said, I mean, I have no other things else to say. Definitely an uh, interesting game. It wasn't that long. Very, very offensively played. Even though Brawl's team looks defensive, it was clearly offensive towards this team, and it definitely did pay off. But it will come down to 2 0, so it's a very close game. So good job to both you guys, and of course, looking forward to see you guys. In the next week's upcoming, I hope you guys are watching enjoy this game, and I'll see you, of course, in the next video. Until then, of course, take care. Bye.